and welcome back. The Calumet Theater is an important part of Copper Country history. It was established in 1893, and we're getting an up-close look at the building today and what they have coming up. Andrew Lacombe joins us now with more. Morning, Andrew. Hey, Vicki, that's right. We're in Calumet, downtown Calumet, outside the historic Calumet Theater. It took seven years for this theater to come to fruition and, and come to uh, construction. It opened in 1900 and started opening uh, or started hosting all kinds of live theater events. It was a big deal for this booming mining town at the time. Now in the 1920s, kind of transitioned to uh, showing some live motion pictures because that was the big thing at that time. Now the theater, 113 years of existence later, still around, hosting about 60 events a year, including coming up this Saturday, the Blues Brothers from Chicago will be here at 7.30. If you want ticket information for that, go to their website. They have all kinds of information for the theater at calumettheater.com. Easy to remember. There are also guided tours available throughout the summer that you can check out. More information on their website. We'll be giving you a bit of a tour coming up later on your TV6 morning show. So I'm excited to head inside. I've actually never been up here before. So a place with a lot of history and uh, I've heard about some, some great performances that have come through here over the years. So we'll be coming back here uh, later on your TV6 Morning Show. So stick around. Live in Calumet, Andrew Lacombe, TV6 News. All right. Thank you very much, Andrew. It's a beautiful portion of the Upper Peninsula. Glad we could be there. Welcome today. back. The Calumet Theatre Company was incorporated in 1983 as an independent nonprofit organization to program events and encourage continuing restoration. The theatre is owned by and leased from the village of Calumet, and we're learning more about it and their upcoming events with Andrew Lacombe this morning. Joining us with more. Morning, Andrew. Good morning again, Vicki. Now we're inside the Calumet Theater that was built in 1900, and we're actually upstairs in the ballroom, the Red Jacket Ballroom. When the theater first opened, it was called the Red Jacket Opera House, and you know they have a lot of history here, and they're still going strong with 60 to 70 performances a year. We'll talk about the history of this area in just a moment, but first, Laura Miller, the executive director of the theater, joins us now to tell us what's happening this weekend. You know, this weekend is a busy weekend for us, Club Indigo, on Friday night, um, Anatomy of a Murder. You may have heard of that one with Jimmy Stewart. With, it was filmed in Marquette, so we've got a large crowd coming, and we have a nice dinner by the Irish Times in this ballroom on Friday night before the film. And people can come and do both, either dinner and movie, or just the dinner, or just the film. And then on Saturday, something really different and exciting for us, the Blues Brothers. They are the number one Blues Brothers tribute band in the country, coming from Illinois, and they're actually driving into town in the Bluesmobile, you know, the replica of the 1974 Dodge Monaco that you saw in the movie, and they're going to be cruising through Holton and Hancock about 3 o'clock on Saturday afternoon and hooting and hollering through that megaphone, inviting people to come up to the Calumet Theater, and the show starts at 7.30 at night, and they've got a 12-piece band with the two guys, Jake and Elwood, doing all the uh, skits that they did from Saturday Night Live and the Blues Brothers movie. And they're accompanied by a 12-piece band. I mean, horn section, they've got gal singing back up and Aretha Franklin songs and Tina Turner songs. So it's going to be a real energy-charged evening. And I know there's more information about all that on your website, right? Yes, there is. Okay. Yes. CalumetTheater.com? That's right. Okay. And now uh, we're going to talk about the history now of this ballroom area and, and just the theater in general. Live performances were kind of the thing when it first opened, and then it switched to some silent films. And we've got uh, a piece of the silent film history here. Just tell us uh, what's here. Well, not quite silent film history. Um, this is our 35 millimeter simplex uh, peerless mag uh, magnark uh, projector, and this was used from 1937 until about the early 1970s. And Correct. Um, live performances the first couple of decades, and then as the mining town uh, lost its, you know, energy and people moved away, then the theater switched from live performances to something more profitable, which was the movies. Okay. Now, as we look around this space here, just tell me uh, what it was used for, and then and what it's used for now. Uh, back in the day, it was used for um, all types of different. Uh, community events. They had lots and lots of meetings here, political rallies, and everything you can imagine. Today it's used for wedding receptions, uh, graduation parties, uh, baby showers, you name it. Uh, we do rent the ballroom out uh, on a very frequent basis, and it's also very well known for our Club Indigo series, which is usually the second Friday of each month, and people have their dinner here at 6 o'clock, and then they go into the theater around 7 to watch that movie. Okay, and now we've got also all kinds of, uh, of history uh, little artifacts and just explanations here. I know you're looking at movie memories right now, right? Yes, uh, we have a very active volunteer archive team, about 10 people, and over the course of the last few years, 
They have gone through our various displays and found posters from the day, uh, have interviewed townspeople that either worked here or went to movies during each of these decades. And this is our first board, 19, 19, 1900 to 1929. And it just gives you an idea of each decade of what's going on at the theater and the movies. All right, Laura, now and behind her is actually the theater. This is the look at the balcony. We're going to head in there in the next half hour, so stick around. Uh, it's an impressive place with all kinds of, of beautiful, uh, beautiful work all over. So we're going to check that out. Laura will be back with us. But now I'll head back to the studio live in Calumet, Andrew Lacombe, TV6 News. All right, thank you very much, Andrew. It's a beautiful facility. The Calumet Theater is an important piece of Copper Country history. It was established in 1900. This morning, we're getting an up-close look at the building today and what events they have coming up. TV6's Andrew Lacombe joins us again with more. Andrew? Hey, Greg. We are now inside the theater. We're actually on the balcony, the second level. You know, when this uh, theater opened back in 1900, it seated 1,200 people. Now they, they had three levels. We're on the second one. There's obviously one below, one above where I am right now. But the third level is closed off right now, and they have room for 700 people, and they want to see this place filled on Saturday. The Blues Brothers coming, a tribute band from Chicago, and that's at 730. Exciting stuff coming up. And Laura, you're the executive director here at the theater. And just tell me how much, you know, we see what it looks like now. Does this look like it did back in 1900, as far as you know? As far as we know. Uh, we think it's restored to uh, what it originally looked like on opening night. Okay, one of the many uh, features that sticks out to me are those curtains that you can see back there. And, and you said that those were restored uh, not too long ago? We had a fundraiser, and in about a year and a half's time, we raised enough money, and these were new curtains hung in December of 2007. So they're relatively new to us. Okay, and now fundraisers, you have another one coming up for uh, something you want to add to this facility, right? Oh, definitely. And the fundraiser started on June 1st. We have an elevator project. We would love to be able to install an elevator in this building so people can go to the first floor, up to the ballroom, and onto the balcony. And we started that again on June 1st, and uh, we're hoping people will donate to the cause. Um, for every $100 that people give us, they get a really nice elevator supporter pin. Okay, and you have uh, members, members to the theater, and, and what does a membership uh, involve? You know, membership is really the lifeblood of this theater. Without membership, we wouldn't be able to survive and keep our doors open. Uh, membership ranges from $35 on up per year, and it's an annual dues uh, that we can bill you for or just uh, go online and get the application there. And membership provides everything else that we need. Um, the shows really only support themselves. They only pay for themselves, and membership provides everything else that we need to do here. Now, we're only showing a, just a small part of this magnificent area to this morning, but people can come and get a tour of it uh, any time, right? Uh, we have tours Monday through Friday, uh, self-guided and guided. So guided tours, if you're wanting to have the whole information about the three stories and its history, that's from noon until 3, Monday through Friday. And self-guided tours run from 10 till um, noon and then also from 3 until 5. Okay, Laura, thanks so much for joining us this morning and letting us come inside this place. I know it's my first time here and definitely want to come and, and check out a show, whether it's this Saturday or there's all kinds of information on your website, calumettheater.com, to check out, right? Yes, there is, and we're so glad you came out. All right, thanks, Laura. We'll head back to the studio now, live in Calumet. Andrew Lacombe, TV6 News. All right, thank you, Andrew, and we'll be right back with your TV6 Morning Show.